And this week is a bit of a, not a bummer. We are only at Tuesday, but there is something by going on holiday. There is everything I should do to also compensate for not being in the workshop for the next week. And it is something that it's a trick that my mind plays on me because I, I do have time afterwards. It's, it's not like <laughs> yeah, things are but... going anywhere, but it's like, no, I need to work extra now so I can relax the next week. And it's like, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually have a celebration uh, coming up uh, tomorrow in the recording times. If my math is correct, is my five-year anniversary on YouTube. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Five years? Five years. Yeah. Did it be- and you haven't accomplished more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but did- <laughs> but didn't like we that. just... You said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that you, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did, didn't we just have this talk? You didn't mention five years coming up then, or did you? I mean, I can't. I think I did, but it was just uh, yeah, passing passing by. If that's what you say. Uh, yeah, I'm, so. I'm blaming my early onset Alzheimer's. So yeah, yeah, it's not so important. Five years, KJ. That's actually quite the accomplishment. That's a, a lot of commitment for the last five years, isn't it? <laughs> it's a show of my stubbornness, you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> half a decade. Yeah, how many how many full videos have you got out in that time? Seventy one. Wow. Yes. No, it, it's crikey! I don't think I've got twenty full videos on mine. A lot of shorts there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, shorts are not. You don't count those. Ah, uh, you do. <laughs> you do when they bring in subscribers and lots of watches. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just fake watch. <laughs> it's all bots and AI. Yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm all for the robots being people. So yeah. Well, I'm not. I agreed to that last time, but on the subject of changing your mind, I'm not sure. I'm. It might just be my imagination, but the last couple of weeks, a lot of videos have. There is a lot of content creators out there, and I'm not sure how much of it is AI generated 100% or whatever is just shortcuts made. But of course, it's it started with all having that same crappy voice uh, doing all the talking in their videos. And I realized I've clicked on a lot of history uh, subject videos lately and I just realized that all right this is an AI voice talking of a script that someone wrote and then all the videos is just uh, uh, compilations of AI generated pictures or pictures just ripped off online so I'm not learning anything here and it's it's not even a person who has taken his time to actually reading whatever is made and i mean i feel my feed is getting flooded with this crap so i'm really craving i'm at that point now it, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it is a person making it I mean, <laughs> the, the, the crappier the better i mean yes he's, he's filming it himself and he's talking and he's committed to what he's doing and like brilliant i like it i mean the topic can be as interesting as it want, but if it's just AI, it's like I lose interest after ten seconds and I switch. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm all for robots being people. If they watch my content, I don't want to watch their <laughs> content. <laughs> Does that make me a bad person? It might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing is if they watch, but if they subscribe, then they're good in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for AI to uh, go into uh, to Patreon as well. I mean, when they start chipping in $5 a month here and there, then it starts racking up. Then I can <laughs> yeah. I'm really into robots. <laughs> Might even make some robotics movies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you know what I mean, because I don't. I just... I just <laughs> I just ran with it and 
did not yeah. know where we will. <laughs> My mind up, went yeah. somewhere at least. <laughs> yeah. It, it yeah. was the, the little wink that the listeners can't see that gave it away. <laughs> we knew what he was thinking. <laughs> So yeah, and I, was, I wasn't thinking about Patreon there for a minute, but yeah, let's uh, keep it PG-19 or whatever, yeah. <laughs> so in the main episode, you were hinted at some sort of cliffhanger, which obviously I can't remember what the hint was now, but uh, I sounded did? interesting at the time. Uh, probably just me hyping up for... <laughs> <laughs> or being full of hot air, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Question is, can I... I can see if I can find my list from our last recording. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Making the illusion that we are actually recording on separate days here. Um, nope. I'm going to do um, a revisit. Uh, previously, I think we talked about the um, the slingshot I want to make. And yeah. I think it was Martin who said that, really, well, those are illegal in Norway. And I just like, can't remember that and i had to check it up and yes they are um hmm. so i'm gonna do something illegal and then i also gonna do something else that might not be illegal but it might get you demonetized or or flagged uh, at least on youtube because i'm gonna make firecrackers and it's gonna be like a how to how we made firecrackers <laughs> in the old days <laughs> Because as I already mentioned, we went to the toy store and I found these, uh, uh, what do you call the caps for uh, like uh, old cowboy guns and what whatnot. And I really want to make them for all good time's sake. And I want to make a video like reference in why and how it works and so on. And when you're posting videos on YouTube today, there is a list uh, that you have to click is a is a profanity present? Uh, is there something that people will get uh, offended by and so on? And that is, of course, for the advertisers because some companies, they say they, they won't have their ads uh, associated with videos about guns or violence or, or whatnot. And, of course, explosives are, are one of those where I have to just <laughs> click no. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be fun to see how that plays out. So, yeah. Are you happy to get yourself banned from YouTube? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are other platforms. I, I've seen there is oh, a you're a TikTok the... guy now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm a TikTok guy now. <laughs> um, I mean, you're, you're not getting banned, and I have not to get flagged for anything previously. So I'm, I'm. But one video, I mean, they might say that this is inappropriate and I might take it down, but they don't kick you out for a first offense. So. We'll see. I'm going to test new ground here. <laughs> nice. As I had to look up that the slingshots are illegal in uh, in Sweden as well, or that, that depends on what you use them for, uh, I guess. Uh, you use them for killing people, they're illegal. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not allowed to use them for hunting, uh, and uh, toys are allowed, but uh, I think it's up to the authorities if it's, it's a toy or not. And yeah, I mean, that's... you're allowed to have it if you're over 21, I think it was. But okay. uh, but if you use it uh, uh, in a bad way, they will take it away from you. Yeah, that, that it's basically the same as here. I mean, yes, they are banned. And then, of course, with any law, uh, at least most of them, you have some supplying text to clarify what's actually meant by and at least here in Norway, it's the, the industrial ones with the, the uh, I mean, yeah, the ones that you can kill an elk with, uh, those are, yes, those are not allowed. So if they see you with one of those, they will take them away from you. But if a kid, if a kid has twiddled one from a, a tree branch and put some uh, elastic bands on it, <laughs> they will just like, all right, don't take one anyone's eye out, and then they would just leave you be. Um, that being said, though, I have the professional rubber band, and of course, uh, making a, a handle on the CNC. It's a question: is are you passing the boundary of toy and into something more? <laughs> I don't think they could ban them in this country. I think every single fisherman has one in his uh, 
tackle box. Yeah, I mean that that's a legal use as well. Yeah. If you have a that's then you have a purpose for it. It's like a a, a carpenter is allowed to wear a knife in public because he has oh, okay. a, a le- legitimate use for it. Uh, so okay. yeah, so you can just claim it's for fishing bait, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you're probably fine. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I've, I've seen people actually. I mean, you can get buy them as well. Slingshots with like the 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 f- fishing reel attachment to it, so they <laughs> actually use it to to shoot the fishing line out. And then, yeah, but it, it looks... what 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 kind of thing is it that you shoot out for the fish? Is it like maggots or pieces of fish or? Um. Maggots or boilies or any yeah. sort of yeah balls of ground bait. I mean, it could be. I mean, <laughs> that's rather nasty to shoot at another person as well. The boilies are a fifteen mil. Um, they're a soft ball, but they've got to have a hard after shell. And I mean, every fisherman out there has had a fight with his friends with the catapults and those boilies. I mean, that's what they're made for. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been I've been thinking about this and maybe you can help me here glenn of course the top notch projectiles is ball bearings but yeah. th- then of course you need a a target and a catch system I, I don't feel good shooting ball bearings into the woods for instance so you can use rocks but they're not uniform in size no. and then of course i started thinking i mean hazel butts we have in abundance so those are nice projectiles <laughs> but that got thinking if you can shoot hazelnuts are there other plant-based seeds that are good projectiles but you also can use i mean if you have a a neighbor or someone you dislike is there something you just can shoot onto their lawn that will uh make them cut <laughs> weeds for years <laughs> afterwards <laughs> well you can get you can uh, obviously use peas couldn't you yeah yeah those so, are quick growing but yeah, yeah. Yeah, the best projectiles that grow the most invasively. Hmm. I think after the other week's conversation, it's got to be tomato seeds. You've just got to figure out some way of boiling them together, maybe in some PVA glue. Or some, some poo. Non, yeah, some non-waterproof PVA glue, so it breaks Yeah, but then again, the I mean, then you have to... Then you have to eat them first, and then you have to collect them in a <laughs> toilet bowl, and there's... Yeah, it's... Seems was, like a bit of evasive uh, procedure was, before you get to shoot them. So I was thinking, cut out the middleman and just take them straight from the tomato. <laughs> or oh, just yeah. shoot a tomato. It could be yes. a pretty good size. Yeah, little cherry tomatoes. Yeah, cherry tomatoes. That's good. That'd make a good splat on their windows, wouldn't it? <laughs> that as well. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> will they disintegrate? No, they. I mean, if you get the ones yeah. that are not too ripe, yeah. Yeah. But then again, those are. They have become really expensive. I mean, any fruit you have to buy. I mean, I have to. Yeah, maybe if I postpone that project until next summer and I can early spring, I can put some cherry tomatoes down so I have my own supply. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After Chestnuts m- must be really good to shoot as well if you just want <laughs> a good projectile. Well, you yeah. horse chestnuts go even harder. Yeah, yeah. Conquers. <laughs> <laughs> True, true, and that, then you're not wasting anything. And I see there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put that down on the list. <laughs> uh, we did talk about having a build along for January on uh, the recording at Skaper Festivalen. We did. No, 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 we didn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have recordings of us saying it. So, yeah, we're coming well, that, back. That can go that. away. I mean, uh, <laughs> things happen through data. I'd get lost. <laughs> a few of us also had a conversation about it in the evening as well, KJ. I don't know whether you were part of that or not. Uh, I can't remember it. Uh, please enlighten me. And then I might remember oh, okay. if well, I've so, heard it before. Ola Skitteren, um I mean, on, on brand for him. Record probably suggested we had a lamp along. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. But that's not a bad idea because I think we've all made lamps. They're all pretty simple to make. Well, there is, they can be as simple or as hard as you want 
to make. So I think that would be actually a really good suggestion. Better than the one shouted out by Marco. <laughs> yeah, the no epo- offense, Marco, the epo- but yeah. the epoxy slab along. <laughs> yeah, we did shoot down that one re- rather quickly. Yep, I actually. I'm, no, have... I'm in for that one. I've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get some old uh, footage here. Just, yeah. uh, reversed images and. <laughs> <laughs> I say one. Around. Once a philosopher, twice a pervert. So never go back. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I have actually been thinking about making some light fixtures. So yeah, I'm all for that. Yeah. Well, you have. You're you're not really experienced in making lamps, are you? <laughs> no, it's a, it's going to be new grounds for me. So it might be good to challenge myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did talk about musical instrument build, but oh, that was just a joke from me. Yeah, but I mean, it was a good joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I might have gotten some raw materials uh, for something like that. But yeah, a lamp might be more interesting. I think it'd be more, make it more participle, if that's a word. It, if it's not, it's a good word and it should yeah. be a word. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> I'm all for it. But of course, it needs to come with a hefty disclaimer then. I mean, if someone burns their house down, then it's it's on them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you could, you KJ, you could have a a quick uh, like introductionary course on on grounding principles, <laughs> earthing. I mean, <laughs> so you want me to do a lecture boom video where I shock myself multiple yeah. times to show how bad it is? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I hope my I hope my last lamp is sound anyway because I gave that away a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's not like it's only made of kindling. <laughs> 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 not inflammable, at least. Yeah. Uh. Oak doesn't burn. And Rubio's fireproof, surely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and an oil-based thing. That I mean, linseed oil. That's not that, at all famous for spontaneously combusting either. So <laughs> it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Put it, put it on some wood and. Drape it over a scalding hot <laughs> electrical <laughs> conducting so, metal wire. Yeah. Did we just make a decision then? Are we, we going to go with a lamp along, or are we just going to go along with it for now until we have a better idea? Or I, finished. I, I, I beat that one, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as, uh, I would say it's the leading one. I mean, it's it's. We're talking about having it in January, and it's uh, at least oh, it's one and a half months to that. So if we not get a, re- a re- revelation uh, of an extremely better one, I would say it's it's the one. To Actually, go with. I finished. I finished my scrap wood build off. Now we can uh, do it straight away if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I think we decidedly <laughs> said that we should not do it before Christmas. Yeah, I know, but that was when it didn't suit me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think January is good. But I'm yeah. thinking it's a bit sad that, I mean, it, it, it needs to be on a log, but it, that it defeats the purpose of having grading. But of course, size, materials, lumens, switch, no switch. I mean, there is a lot of, it's easy yeah. to have uh, gradings on a lamp off, but all right, a lamp along. I mean, okay, you can. So yeah, should we it. have some uh, some rules, some uh, something to no. make it more interesting? No, just leave it open. <laughs> it's what good to have do? some restraints to force you to do something that you're not comfortable with. But the, the problem I've that? seen with a lot of the people, at least for the scrap wood build off, they. <laughs> They go overboard and they're way too good. So to make it interesting, we, we should, uh, yeah, figuratively tie their hands to their backs or something like this. Yeah, we could think about putting some uh, guidelines down. Can't use more than five hundred pounds worth of tools. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's interesting. That's oh. actually heavily restricted. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a low number, but that's an interesting that it's not the cost of materials, it's the cost of the tools you use as well. Yeah. You're only allowed to use one tool. <laughs> I mean, Go. Is it a CNC? <laughs> but, 
Yeah, I but... mean, setting a fixed number, that's that's rather fun. Okay, I used the sander, that's a, a hundred quid. <laughs> I used the angle grinder, that's another hundred quid. Okay. Three. I right, used you the need... laser, I bought that second hand, it was only five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... Um... Hmm. We make a list of the participants, and then we agree on a set number, and then we do like, of course, this will be in the new areas, but like a, a secret Santa. So you you get a name, and you should buy within that framework. You should buy parts to make a lamp, and then you ship it off to the next guy. So you get you get a package in the mail. This is what I have to make a lamp off, and then. <laughs> Yeah, whoever gets KJ, post it now. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be here for 2026. <laughs> I mean, that is a rather good idea to have. A, you have to incorporate this thing that someone else has sent to you. That's not going to happen, is it? It's overly complicated. Or you, you're it not allowed is. to make it for yourself. You have to donate it to someone. You can, of course, be in full creative control, but you need to pass it along to someone. That That's an option. Not being too restrictive, but then, yeah, it's the postal service again. So. Yeah, it keeps the size of the lamp down as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything involving the postal service is yeah. not fun, but it would be nice. Hmm. <laughs> But I mean, that's it's next year. We have plenty of time. But of course, yeah, if but anyone listening lamp. have any suggestions to, uh, to how we can tweak uh, a lamp along, we are of course uh, very open to suggestions. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Especially think... on the in the WhatsApp group. Wait, we have a what, what? What? What now? What? What's up? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes we do with all the wonderful listeners no no but the most of most wonderful of our listeners is that yeah can you have your our favorite listeners could we call them that because you actually know who they are <laughs> it certainly helps our friends the listeners <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to exclude the ones who who isn't in the WhatsApp group for for some reason. Uh, no, every every listener is a good listener, but yeah. I, Sorry, guys, Dave you're... wants to go out. <laughs> uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, that's Dave, the one-eyed dog. Uh, so yeah, that didn't answer any questions, did it? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> So yeah, but while Glenn is away uh, walking his dog, I'm not sure if that was a euphemism for anything. Well, let, it let's could not, be. Let, let's not dig into that. Um, but yeah, we have a WhatsApp group for the, what we call them, crudely mistaken ones. That's, yes. Uh, suitable one. Uh, it's, uh, there is no upper limit. There is no glass ceiling. So if anyone wants to join, it's just uh, send us a message and... We'll open the doors. We haven't kicked out anyone yet, and I don't think we've no. been close. So, yeah. Oh. It's all good times. Yes. we got some showings of uh, Scrapwood build-off um, projects in it. And just people showing off what they're working on and things they've bought and that sort of thing. So it's, it's kind of like a low-tech version uh, of the podcast, more or less. But with more people and more images. That, that's what I like. It it has like a behind the scenes, like a, a setup. But it's it's just as much behind the scenes of the listeners. I mean, to be fair, I, I think they input more to the group sometimes than we do. So, yes, which is very nice. I, I really love the dynamic of the group. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's an it's a, a small uh, social media for just us. And that's yeah. really nice. And it doesn't have the hassle of, I mean, Discord groups and that sort of thing that it's tends to be just a lot of things to keep track of. This is just the one WhatsApp group that you easily can ignore if you if you 
don't feel like it, but it's also easy to just check in and see what's happening, what people are posting. So it's yeah, I because I realized great. they have mute functions on WhatsApp groups. So I'm like, I'm, this is a bit too much today. Do you want to mute it? Four hours, eight hours, a day, forever? Do they? you want to leave? <laughs> <laughs> So what's up with Dave the Pirate Dog? Dave the Pirate Dog has been in here with me the whole time and he's been as good as gold, but uh, he just decided to go up to the door and start making the noises that he needs to go out. So <laughs> rather than have a, a disaster in the office, I've just taken him into the house and said, it's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of taking nice, him out nice. and just letting him relieve himself, you're just moving the problem? Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 But how how's it going? Is it is it still the color of shame or the eye patch or how's how's it going? He's doing really really well actually. But I don't think that we told the listeners. My dog Dave had to have an eye removed about four weeks ago now. I think something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a, a miserable affair for the first four days afterwards. He was like having a newborn baby in the house. The uh, anaesthetic had upset his tummy and. <laughs> <laughs> He was quite sore and feeling sorry for himself and didn't want to let any of us sleep. But after that, he's just really recovered really well. So no eye patches, but no, his swelling's gone down. His stitches have dissolved. It's all looking good. To be fair, I, I would have used a lot more than four days. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's yeah. no spring chicken either. No, not a 15 years old. <laughs> no. That's so, yeah. It all, yeah. Everything takes longer time the older you get. Yeah, so for what for what the operation cost, he's got to last a couple more years yet. Yeah, <laughs> 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 so, oh my oh. God, the vets aren't cheap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I actually took the cat, I think, last week or the week before, and um, just for some uh, standard uh, quarterly flea and tick treatment. And the bill was 55 quid at the end. And he said, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> I've never got away with a 55 pound bill from the vets. <laughs> I feel, I mean, now <coughs> it's it's getting colder out and I start to, I mean, with fairly regular intervals, I start to feel bad for our cat. And uh, yeah, went down to the workshop yesterday and I opened the door to go out and all right. She's puked on the floor in the the outer gang. So, yeah, don't feel sorry for her. And I remember there's a, there's a reason why she has her own cat door and is not in the house because she's not all there, um, to say the <laughs> least. So uh, I met your cat. She's lovely. She's lovely for five seconds outside <laughs> until she's like tired of you and then she bites, scratches or whatever. And, yeah, I mean... That was tickling in, in, the tummy. Inside, she she's was purring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. She was just making you lower your guard. <laughs> Let's see. The UK Postal Service. Live, <laughs> live animal <laughs> shipment <laughs> Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Three years in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dave needs should, a friend. That should finish her off. <laughs> 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 oh, she is. <coughs> I think she's 13, 14. She's half Maine Coon. They don't really live that long, but this cat is going to set the Guinness World Record. She's going to, just on spite, she's going to live <laughs> for at least 10, 15 more years. I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> when I took the cat to the vets, it's the first time we've taken him to the vets since we've had him. And um, she rang up to get him registered and she said, what? What sort of what breed is he? And I just said black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that being said, though, and maybe she knows it. I'm not sure, but of course, when we inherited her, it's like she was already too old, and she didn't have any insurance, and she's now too old to get insurance. And I think there is maybe one company that all right, we insure all animals, but the cost is going up so that's not happening so we know that if anything major happens uh, we're going to the vet and it's going to be the easiest way out uh and of course we're going to feel sad about it but i mean we're not going to put her in a hospital for three days for like uh 
three thousand pound a night. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah. Let me just uh, say for the listeners that when he says we're going to feel sorry about it, he said it with a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to get away with it being a podcast and everything, and here you are throwing me under the bus. I mean, not not that we don't know which door we're going to put in already. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing, though. It, it it was my father's cat, and I he would turn in his grave if he believed in that. Uh, if we got rid of the cat, so she's living with us and she's living a good life. And uh, but she has some issues that can't she she can't be an indoor cat. But other than that, she has uh, all the food and drinks she can need. Her own bed, her own room with her own entrance. So she's living a life <laughs> as a cat. It's um, it's funny we've got we've got the cat's protection where we always get our cats from. So they're rescue cats, basically, and they have a, a whole section of cats which are known as rodent control officers, and they are <laughs> cats that aren't suitable for indoor use, basically. They're for the people with a bit of land or a little farm and places like that. Yeah. Just to live a little bit feral, you just have to feed them, basically, and they'll mm-hmm. keep the rodents down for you. I think that's a really nice way of wording it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she, she does, but... <sighs> If you wouldn't feel so damn proud of it that you want to drag it in and put it on our doorstep to show it off, and I'm like, wah, wah, look what I did! Look what I did! Yes, you killed a mouse. You're a cat. No one's impressed. <laughs> we see here, the... we see Jack kill a mouse on the, in the back garden. He looks really disappointed when it's dead. It's like he keeps tapping it and flinging it up in the air. Come on, I want to carry on this game. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Oh, I, I remember the first time, of course, they read about it in stories and they know, but the, the first time the kid's like, oh, there's the cat. Wait, what's that? A mouse? <laughs> it's alive! And then he's just like <laughs> toying with it and just slowly killing it like, yep, that's a reality. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the worst invasive species we've got. <laughs> yeah. I could I can't understand that someone wanted to domesticate wolves to what is essentially the dog to die, but who the fuck looked at whatever <laughs> was the predecessor of a cat and I I would like to bring that into my house. I mean what's the reasoning there? Rodent control, I think, mostly. Because that was a big problem back in the days. Yeah. I was uh, never a cat guy until we got Jack uh, this year, and uh, now he's turned me around. He's he's still a knobhead, but he's a brilliant knobhead still. <laughs> <laughs> Your kind of knobhead. Yeah, I'm my kind of knobhead. <laughs> and the fact is that the girls um, really wanted another cat after the last one passed, and I said no, I don't, I don't want another cat because I wasn't the cat guy. And uh, ever since we got Jack, he's uh, he's always come closer to me and really try to ignore the girls the whole time. <laughs> so I find that part quite funny as well. <laughs> Isn't that a typical cat trait to do exactly the opposite of what you wanted yeah. wanted to? I mean, there this most cats it feels like they go straight for me because I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, go over to that person who wants to pet you. I don't. don't put hairs on my clothes <laughs> well, one of our neighbours has got the uh, cutest dog, it's got really long eyelashes and I'm allergic to that dog, Not I'm not allergic to many dogs but this one makes my eyes run and itch and sore but every time I see it, it's so cute, so I get on the floor with it, I roll it around <laughs> <laughs> then my eyes are streaming <laughs> <laughs> you're so emotional <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm just an animal guy <laughs> apparently <laughs> Nature boy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that reminded me of Omar's song, then the lazy boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh yeah, that was funny. eerily catchy. That one. That was brilliant. You had a conversation about lasers and laser fly, and then by the end of the day, you'd made a song, Laser Boy. I was sitting at a lunch. The laser and, fly. That was. And, it, yeah. We had that discussion on, on WhatsApp and like laser guy and I had to Google and laser ply and like, then just suddenly it struck me like laser guy is pretty fly. 
fighting crime with laser ply. And I just, <laughs> all right, I need to put that into a video. And I did. And like, I want this as a 80s crime fighting TV show theme. And what it produced was amazing. So yeah. Well, maybe you should uh, play the podcast out with it. And we can also call this episode Laser Boy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. <Yeah>. Sorted. <laughs> Brilliant. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Laser guy. Yeah, that's a, that's a brilliant way to end the episode. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>